Well, Island Riders, <laughs> I mean, I mean, what more is there to say except happy mud season, right? <laughs> Let's get after it. Glorious mud. Look at the ruts. Brutal. Hello, fellow island riders. Glad to see you. Oh my goodness, it's been a while, hasn't it? Since we've had a little real chat, I guess. I guess you guys have already seen probably the first video of the season, but this is the first time me really getting out here and uh, and getting some film, actually, of us going for a little bit of a rip today together. And what better time of year than mud season? Oh my goodness. We're getting into it again here. Better pies are up to think. Sorry for the wind if there's any. Hopefully there's none. But man, oh man, she's a sloppy old spring this year. Whew. Now, they did the best effort to try to grade it here, but all they didn't do in that was just hide all the ruts on me. <laughs> so, unfortunately, we'll just find the ruts when they find us, I guess. Jump! But, as most of you know, having grown up in rural New Brunswick, Old Dowski loves his mud, that's for sure. Let's see if I can swing over and do a transition here real quick. No problem. This is actually pretty mild grade mud. But yeah, I love mud season on Prince Edward Island. It is definitely one of the six seasons that we have here on Prince Edward Island. Yes, there are six. There's spring mud season and there's fall mud season. <laughs> and of course, all the ATV trails are closed now because of it. Because it's just too too gooey in the woods. There's still actually, like if you can look to the right of me, there's still a lot of snow, eh? I'm actually surprised this, this road isn't snow covered, to be honest. But we've had a lot of sun, we've had some rain, and that's helped things out. So yeah, I figured I'd head out here today and have a say with you folks, and maybe we can enjoy this together. Plus, it's also a really good time for skills building. So I'm gonna move on up here to our location. We're up in Blomidon actually, or not Blomidon, correction. <laughs> We're up in Blooming Point. I'm thinking Nova Scotia. I got Nova Scotia on the mind for some reason. At the beginning of the season planning things, right? <laughs> so yeah, let me move on up and uh, I'll touch base with you again in a little bit here. So yeah. It's a beautiful spring day out here. We've had a really rough old winter, haven't we? I mean, like, not last weekend, but the weekend before. It was just crazy. We had 20 centimeters of snow, which makes it a lot, uh, you know, quite difficult for roads like this to kind of re recover themselves. So, you know, since this is already graded, I'm not going too crazy with this. I'm trying to keep it rather rut-free, so I'm not going too nuts. Unless it's already messed up, then, I mean, come on. <laughs> Have at her, is what I say. But yeah, mud season on Prince Edward Island. One of the things about Prince Edward Island, maybe I've mentioned to this, to you, this interesting fact before, but like 33%, 30 plus percent of the roads are all dirt roads. So for a lot of people, mud season is a way of life. And it always has been. And that was something I had to contend with too growing up. Real New Brunswick, like I said, we love our mud. And uh, holy smokes, we're in one right now. Easy does it. But on the KLR 650, on our dual sport, on our adventure machines, mud season provides a really, really good opportunity for skills building. For example, normally I'd be sitting down through this. But because of uh, skills building last year and today, this year, I am really up to my standing game, big time. So I'm kind of just letting the bike do what it wants while I stand over top of it. And I'm trusting Fox to keep us upright. Hey Foxy, you don't want to go down either, right? Huh, bud? <laughs> of course not. Oh, uh, we got a good one. This one's here pretty tricky. Um, I come up this area a lot, eh? There we go. This is down on the grade, so we're probably going to have a little bit of mud. We'll check this one right out. But yeah, mud season allows you to get out there and practice in probably the worst mud conditions that you're gonna run into through the summer. So when it comes time 
for your adventure to take you down through some mud. You're ready to go. Easy boy, easy. There you go, buddy. Push through her. Good job, Foxy. Also, it helps you build that mud confidence, which is a real huge thing. Because if you start going down trails and you see a bunch of mud all of a sudden, well then man, if you're not too, too confident, you probably don't want to head onto it right away, right? But if you've got some of that confidence under your feet, and I've got a lot more since I changed out the foot pegs, then have right at her, bud. All right. Very cool. And actually, you know what? I'm a, I've already been out. <laughs> I will say this to you. I've already actually been out quite a bit this year. Well, not quite a bit. I've been out for, I think, two official runs. Um, one of them was a bit of a really fun one, actually. Uh, I'll just park her up right here. I'll go over it with you because I really want to let you know about this one. I had a really, really, really cool run. Um, we did our 2022 shakeout run with the PEI Duo Sport Riders Group. And that was such an amazing ride. Oh my God. I love getting into group rides like that because then you can like, you know, take the lead role and give it to somebody else. And then you just find all sorts of cool new trips. We had uh, three riders come out and there was some, another group of riders on the other side of the island. We kind of intersected a little bit. It was such a great time. We head up to uh, New London, to Cavendish, to Cape Tryon. And boys, oh boys, so great. We had Mike along for the ride. We had Chad along too with his KTM. We had Adam with his fresh, fresh, brand new Yamaha. <laughs> and of course the Silver Fox. But man, you know what? I like, I, I will say I had some audio issues on the camera at that time. So I didn't really get enough film to actually make a really good video. But I will say this, we did have a great ride and Micah's camera worked. So uh, why don't I give you the highlight reel of that sucker and I'll go find us another cool spot here.
boys, oh boys. She is a mystery under this. I've run into this before in New Brunswick where I've just been on a, a recently graded road and there was a fella on his four wheeler and he gave me the heads up for this kind of stuff that it is a mystery underneath. Keep it up, keep it up. There we go, there we go. Oh, it was a long run of this. Shoot. Oh, a long old mud run. I'm gonna get off to the side here. Whew. Maybe I can run it out, I don't know. I might stay seated just for this one, just to keep my back in planted a bit. And to conserve some stamina. Holy bones, is this a lot of mud. I swear to, I swear it though. There we go. Come the summer, we're gonna get into some mud and we're gonna survive it. And we're gonna be like, yeah, reason why. Mud season, watch run, center up. There we go. Holy jumping, so yeah. <laughs> I mean, mud season is also a really good time to kind of just get yourself retuned and calibrated with your motorcycle. Like, I'll say this right now, early spring riding is uh, quite sketchy, as uh, as we'll see here coming up. So, it also, you know, me sharing mud season with you is also a good opportunity for me to, to share a, a general sense of be careful island riders, because look at this. You see all this? We're still on some dirt road, but man, that dust doesn't go away too quickly here. We need good rains and things. So you have to be really, really careful when you're riding early season. So some tips for riding early season. Number one, um, unless you're ready for it, <laughs> avoid roads like this. Look at this. This is like 90% sand. <laughs> no salt out here though, because as you can tell, they just sand the, the blazes out of her. But yeah, try to keep your bike upright through turns. Big thing, go slow through turns. I know you wanna lean into that guy, especially on blinds, like up here coming up. Man, oh man, it's really nuts. So stay light into the turns. Don't lean on that throttle too, too much. And you know, try to keep your bike from low siding on you. All right, French Village Road, where are we at here? I think we are on the road to another adventure to tell you the truth. Let's just duck in here really quick. No exit, eh? Well, you know what, French River Road? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that to the test some other day. For now, Island Riders, if you're out there enjoying mud season, please be safe. But if you do get out there, I understand. And if you are out there, send me some, some pics, you know? Send me some cool pics of your early season rides, your nice shiny bikes out of there after the long, long winter. I'd love to see them. You can do that. You can tag me on Instagram at island underscore ADD. Anyway, until our next adventure, until the next time we meet out here on the dusty roads or the muddy roads, take care, Island Riders. All right, heading north. Let's go find some old shipwrecks.